this is, it's really exciting and, and it's exciting to be continuing this tradition because it, it demonstrates that we are willing to put the work in, not just when it comes to bills, but also in, in real life uh, out here. And I appreciate so much everyone else's work to make sure that our Hunger Garden is a su success year over year. Uh, I, I worked for a community for people with developmental disabilities in DC called L'Arche. And it may be somewhat of a non sequitur, but um, what that experience taught me and, and something that stayed with me is that it was a very small community that really uh, changed the way that we worked with people with disabilities. And what they said was that they wouldn't necessarily be able to help everyone with disabilities, but what they could do was demonstrate how we can change the way that we work with people with disabilities. And I think that's really what the Hunger Garden represents, is not just that we are able to address hunger, but a way that, that everyone can, and everyone can get involved to address hunger in Pennsylvania. And we are facing more hunger now than ever. Pennsylvania and the United States are facing a hunger cliff, and this little patch of land is one way to help our neighbors to make sure that nobody goes hungry. And the other ways that we do it are in this building behind us. And I'm very excited to work with my colleagues, with my co-chair, to make sure that we are taking care of Pennsylvanians who are their most vulnerable. And I very much appreciate all of you guys for braving the weather to be out here today. So thank you.